think I have already bored you enough with vectors and tensor, but I hope you now understand what tensor really means and you should be able to explain what does rank 1, rank 2, and so on tensor really means. And what does rank 2 really mean in terms of indices and how you can relate it with the physical materials. So let's now look at the tensor notations which will be used in this course and try to pace up the course and your learning. In this course, we shall use tensor notations for most part of the course. Consider a rectangular Cartesian coordinate system. The axes are denoted by OXI, where I varies from 1, 2, and 3. So we have coordinate axes as X1, X2, and X3. The unit base vectors are denoted by EJ. And again, in that this case, the J is from 1 to 3. So we have basis vectors as E1, E2, and E3. These are the same as X hat, Y hat, and J hat in the previous part. Latin indices I, J, K have a range of 3. That is, can have a value of 1, 2, or 3. First order tensors are written with one index. For, for example, U, J, V, K, and so on, as I explained in the previous part. While they have three components, so it can have, you, you can have U1, U2, and U3 as a component as relative to a rectangular Cartesian coordinate system. Second order tensor are written with two indices, so X, I, J, T, and M, S, I, J. These are the examples of second order tensor with two indices. And they will have nine components as I explained in the previous part which are defined relative to the rectangular Cartesian coordinate system. An mth order tensor is written with m indices. A repeated index means summation over the range of index. For example, sigma kk would mean sigma 1 1 plus sigma 2 2 plus sigma 3 3. Remember, k can have a value from 1 to 3 in rectangular Cartesian coordinate system. Similarly, TII would mean T11 plus T22 plus T33. So you have to add those components together. A tensor quantity cannot have an index that is repeated more than twice. So in the above example, you had two indices. They can repeat, but more than if you have three or more indices, then the indices cannot be repeated more than twice. Otherwise, it's wrong. Something is wrong. So for example, you cannot have sigma sub KKK or L sub I J J J or T sub I J J sigma J K. So again, J is repeated thrice in the last example. The, the number of components in a tensor quantity is determined from this formula where, which is given as range exponent order. So the order is the number of free indices in a tensor quantity. When you say free indices, this means which are unrepeated or which are not repeated. A repeated index is not counted in determining the order of a tensor. So, so for example, sigma ij has a range of 3 and the order is, since it has two indices, so it will have an order of 2. So 3 exponent 2 or 3 raised to power 2 would mean 3 times 3, which is equals to 9. And that's why a rank 2 tensor has two indices will have nine components.